Hello, I'm instructor Micah Terrell and welcome to this COM 2140 instructional video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Axia audio board for use in your projects. First things first, let's look at the very top of the board. You'll need to look at these very top knobs here. They're all really small and move all the way across. Those are your inputs. Those inputs all need to be set to two. Program two is what the button will say. And so make sure you go all the way across and get all those selected. Now these inputs are actually what brings in your source into the board, okay? Now that you've done all of that, you need to look down to the uh, sliders. You'll see those, you don't need to adjust those just yet, but I want you to know that sliders are also called faders and pots and potentiometers. And that is one of your quiz questions later in the course. So make sure that you remember that. Now below here are your channels. You need to make sure you have a channel selected for whatever you're using. Now on the far left is mic one. That is always mic one. Mic one is what the producer uses. Um, also, if you're solo, of course, you'll use mic one. Mic two is next and mic three is after that. Pay attention to the green writing. It's really kind of faint and hard to see here, but if you look up closely, you can see what each channel is for. And you'll see over, over here is editor one, and there's a hybrid, mini disc, preview, new prist, editor two. Um, those are different, uh, again, channels for um, each of the sources that you have for your board. Finally, let's talk about outputs. Outputs are in the center. Outputs need to be selected to a two, as you see here, to match up with what your inputs are. If your inputs and outputs don't match and don't have the same number, you will not hear yourself when you do playback or while you're actually recording. So you need to make sure that you check on that. Again, a quick review. Make sure all those inputs are selected at the top. Make sure you have your uh, sliders. Again, we'll, we'll talk about what to do with those in a little bit, but also make sure you have selected the, the channels that you need. We will have editor or new Prist. Um, new Prist handles the pristine system, which we'll discuss a little bit later. And editor two handles the Adobe Audition editing equipment, which I'm recording into right now. We'll discuss that, how that works in another video just a little later. Now again, for your sliders, we mentioned those pots, potentiometers, um, or faders, those adjust the volume or the energy that's coming from the source that you're using. As you can see here, I have my microphone uh, pot or slider pushed up to around negative 10. You need to pay attention to the levels for each of your sources. You don't want to have distortion. Distortion is when you have too much energy and it causes there to be a crackle, pops, all kinds of, of issues with your um, audition, with your audio rather. It's so distorted you can't make it out usually. So you want to make sure when you look at your levels, pay attention to your voltmeter. The voltmeter is in the middle here between the screens for the computer and your your Axia board. So notice here it's hitting around a negative 20. That first leading line, it's a very skinny line. Pay attention to that. That is your key in making sure your levels are good. Make sure your voice is always at negative 20. If you go past that, you're going to have distortion happen and you don't want to have that happen either. Plosives can also be an issue. So again, negative 20, watch that voltmeter and make sure everything is, is not past negative 20. And look at that skinny leading line. That's the line that you want to pay attention to. Thank you for joining me for this video on how to set up your Axia board. And in the next video, we'll talk about how to use Pristine, which runs the um, sound recordings and other sound um, that you can use for your production. I'm Micah Terrell for COM 2140.